Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I've missed you guys. I haven't filmed in over a week, which is a really long time for me. I was out of town. Uh, I had some videos pre-recorded, so that's why uh, I've used some uploads. Um, yeah, those were just all pre-filmed, so yeah, feels kind of weird, so if I'm a little off, that's why. Uh, I came home to a bunch of boxes. I think I have like 13 here to do, um, but the one I grabbed first was The Box by Fashion Stuff. I'm super excited to see what we got this month. If you are unfamiliar with what The Box is, it is a pretty new beauty subscription. I think this is the third one I have received, and I think there's only been four boxes ever, if I can recall correctly. I know I missed the first one and I had to get on a waiting list. Um, I'm not positive if there is a waiting list again. Um, I know this box is kind of hard to come by. They did lift their um, waiting list this month, so hopefully all of you watching, you have been able to get it. I'm gonna link them down below so either you can subscribe or join the waiting list if you are interested. The box costs only $19.99 a month and there is free shipping and I don't even think there's any taxes or anything like that. So it's um, great value. They say you get at least $80 in value, but we typically get like over $150 in value. So get all like beauty products. Um, I think I know some things coming this month. So um, you can probably tell by how I look. So we're gonna do an unboxing and then I will try on any products I can that we received. Uh, but yeah, so again, I'm going to link them down below and I'm also going to link any giveaways I have going on and all of that. But anyways, let's get started. When I open up the box, this is what I see. It says, warning, the contents of this box may cause extreme excitement. You have scored $80 to $150 worth of products you will enjoy and love. I want to personally welcome you to the Box by Fashion Style Glam Fam, a consciously curated collection of classic brands and the unveiling of new and emerging brands boxed and delivered to your door each month and then signed by the CEO Shadi. And then it says box with a purpose. And there's another little note here and it says, with every box purchase, you're helping 1736 Family Crisis Center by assisting those in need in the form of monthly makeup, beauty, and self-care goodies with the intention to enhance self-confidence and self-image. 1736 Family Crisis Center is a nonprofit organization based in Los Angeles with a mission to help people through crisis including domestic violence and human trafficking. We're happy to announce this partnership and support a cause you love, as well as offering amazing products you love to use. That is so amazing. I love when my boxes give back to charity. And then we have the card that lists all of the items along with the pricing of each item. And it says for this box, the total retail value is $157.50. So that's even more what they claim. Like right here it says, you get between 80 and 150 dollars. This is over 150 dollars worth of stuff. So awesome. I will keep this right here to reference throughout the unboxing. And then all of the actual products are wrapped up in tissue paper. And they have like little squigglies to make sure everything came okay. So the first thing I see in here is a skincare item. Um, so this we won't be trying today. So we got something from Teamy. We got a mask by Teamy last month. And I'll be honest, I haven't tried it yet. I can't believe, time just flies, doesn't it? But the Teamy Vitamin C Tea Infused Serum, this is made with hibiscus and vitamin C. I love vitamin C, so I'm definitely curious about this. So, wow, this is $45. It says, quench dry skin with the serum's water-esque consistency, which instantly absorbs into your skin. Vite C takes less than 30 seconds, so you can quickly continue with your beauty routine. The unique process behind this weightless vitamin C serum involves hand steeping the hibiscus flower leaves and brewing an antioxidant rich refreshing red tea which creates the baby pink color we adore. With the light fresh grapefruit scent, you will fall in love with the clean, plant-based and holistic vitamin C serum for skin that feels radiant the moment it touches your face. So this is one ounce, let's get this out. Wow, it's very pink. Like that's the actual Wow. I'm curious about like what form of vitamin C is in here because it just as a score big acid because I know vitamin C is really unstable like so I don't know how that well this is but it does have a pump which is good so I think the less expo the less exposure to air vitamin C has the better it is so let me pump a little bit out on my hand okay wow so that's just one pump that came out it definitely is pink I'm just gonna rub it into my hand um, the pink color definitely fades away. Well, a little bit goes a long way. You can probably just get away with one pump. It says, I think on there, one to three. 
It definitely has a scent. It smells a little bit like skincare. You get like a little bit of that grapefruit scent, but that kind of goes away instantly. So let's see, is there a lot of fragrance in here? I've been watching a lot of Jen Love's reviews, so I'm like all about the ingredient analysis. <gasps> yeah, honestly, just like a very quick um, glance over it. Like it does look like it has a lot of great ingredients. There is some citrus essential oil at the end, um, at the very end of the ingredient list, so. Yeah, have you guys tried this yet? I'd love to hear your opinion. So yeah, it seems like definitely within 30 seconds it has dried on my arm. So yeah, cool. I love skincare. I'm kind of like, have a lot right now, but I am curious to see how this works. Uh, next up, looks like we have another skincare item. It just looks a little dusty just from the like, little squiggly things that come in here to protect it during shipping. But this is the Jet Super Hydrating Skincare Oil to Foam Jet Cleanser. So it says, oil to foam jet cleanser gently dissolves makeup and impurities. Cactus fruit delivers antioxidants to protect the skin from aging and allows skin to restore vitality and appearance of youthful looking skin. So this is 80 ml, it says made in Korea. So a lot of skincare it seems. Um, this is $25. It says, created with lip quenching oil and extracts. This formula is creamy and luxurious, allowing for a smooth application Hugging the lips for most comfortable. I think they put the wrong description on here. It says hugging the lips. This is for your face, right? Yeah, it says dispense two to three pumps under your palm and gently massage your face to remove makeup impurities. So I think they just put the wrong description under this. But yeah, so we have a facial cleanser. Um, I have a lot of cleansers right now. Um, so I'm not sure if I will use that or pass that along in a giveaway. Next up, um, Every Day for Everybody Club BFF Natural Rescue Balm. Wow, is this like all skincare so far? Um, Paw Paw plus Acai plus Peppermint. This is, this is Flake No More. Um, Superfood, Multi-Purpose Travel Buddy, Non-Toxic. So a friend in need is a friend indeed. This nifty little rescue balm has got your back. So... Let's see what it says in here. This is $15. Club BFF is your ride or, di ride or dry kind of friend. This nifty sidekick is a petroleum-free balm formulated with papaya, antioxidant-rich acai, emollient, sunflower seed oil, and soybean germ extract that moisturizes your lips and other body bits. Uh, I guess you could call it a friend with many benefits for all skin types. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing this is one of those things that can be like for your cuticles, for your lips, all that. So... This is what it looks like. It says apply liberally to dry areas, reapply as needed. And it does have like a kind of like a lip balm applicator. I'm just gonna try it on my hand right now. Oh, it definitely has like a lip balm feel, like a petroleum feel, but there's no petroleum in it. So, okay. I guess this could come in handy during this time of year to zip a set. It smells like peppermint. So I guess that makes sense because there's peppermint in it. Is it kind of tingly? It might be, but yeah. So not super exciting, but okay. All right, now we have some makeup. Yay. Girlactic uh, Matte Lip Paint Duo in Blossom Sweet. So this is $26. Wow. Oh, I read Duo, but it didn't really like come to my mind. So it looks like there's like two sides to this. Let's read about it first. So, uh, the first original double-ended matte lip paint, a color-rich creamy formula that's weightless on the lips and delivers long-lasting coverage that's transfer-proof with no cracking or bleeding. Colors can be worn individually or as an ombre lip. Hmm. This, both these colors look cute. So, uh, wait, wait, wait. So, one's sweet and one is blossom. So, let's swatch sweet first. I have that balm on my hand. I'm going to try and go I guess you can put lip stuff over balms, right? Yeah. Ooh, I like that color a lot. So that is sweet. And then blossom. It's darker. These are both really pretty colors. So I'll try one of those on today. I'll have to see. So I'll keep them here and see how they dry down. I don't feel like doing an ombre lip. That's just not really my thing. Um, but yeah, I will definitely try one of these. They 
look really pretty, so we'll see how they perform. The next thing is super exciting. I love Sigma brushes. This is a Sigma brush, and it's the F89 Baked Kabuki. Um, I do not have this one. We never get Sigma products really in boxes, but we did get a Sigma blush once in the box, my first um, one I got. And then there was like a very, very, very short-lived box called Glimsy, which had a Sigma brush in it once. So this is exciting. Uh, it says, function, press on setting power, powder to bake. Um, I don't bake, but maybe we can just put some powder on, some finishing powder or setting powder. It says, um, unique feature, deeply angled brush head. Recommended use, used with powder products. So this is $25. It says, keep your look perfect with the Sigmax fiber brush designed to pick up and press on setting powder. The angle gets close to contours. It is recommended to use this foundation brush with powder products, perfect for full coverage. So let's get this out of here. So this is what the brush looks like. You can kind of see that unique angle it has. So yeah, we will try this out. And then the last thing, so this is what I saw a spoiler for on their um, Instagram. This is the Leopardina 12 Eyeshadow and 4 Highlighter Palette by Rude Cosmetics, I think. This is Rude right there. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. And then on the back of it, it kind of gives an overview of the colors. Let's get this out of here. So this matches the outer packaging exactly. So let's open it up and see. So there is a protector. Um, there is a mirror It says rude makeup with an attitude. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have four highlights and it looks like they can go with like all skin tones and then a pretty neutral palette, but I am a neutral girl, so <laughs> it's okay with me. So yeah, I probably will really only use like two or three of these highlights, but you can always use them as eyeshadow shades too. So yeah, this is pretty, I think. So there's like mostly mattes and then four shimmers, so I like that. So you can create a lot of good fall looks with it, this as well. And, um, so let's read about this this is $21.50 that's not bad for a palette it says featuring a combination of four highlighters and 12 shadows this palette will be sure to bring out your inner feline each carefully selected shade can be easily complemented uh, shadows are a combination of mattes and shimmers which allow you to bring any look up a notch all right and that is everything that came in the box so i'm just gonna swatch a few of these shades right now i think i'm gonna swatch like Shimmer. Ooh, that feels really nice. It's starting to rain. So these are what the color, the shimmers look like. There's like a little bit of black on my fingertips from like the packaging material. Which is kind of annoying, but let's see. Oh, wow. I should have been like Tati and swatched on my own. <laughs> Gosh, you probably can't even see that, but I can see it looks, those swatched really well, actually, I think. Um, those are just the shimmers in the palette, so. Yeah, Tati's been like swatching up here, you know, and I think it's like easier to see in her videos and stuff. I've got a lot more iron to swatch too than her. She's a skinny girl, but yeah, so let's move forward to the try on portion. So I think I want to start off with the palette um, first. So I have not put any highlighter on yet, so I'm trying to think of what highlight shade I want to put on. So those are the highlight shades. They all look really pretty. Um, you guys can't see again. Sorry, I'm really um, failing today. <laughs> I still don't think you can really see much. It kind of blends into my skin tone. They're not like, I mean, they are pigmented. I think the white is maybe like a little too white. I'll probably use it like as an inner corner highlight. Maybe I'll use it like third shade. Oh, where's my highlight brush? So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with this shade right there. So yeah, they might have names in the back, I don't know. Um, I don't think so, no, they don't have names. Might be like a little too like yellow or gold for my skin tone, but I'm trying to tell if you can see it on camera. But yeah, it's not like the most amazing highlight in the world. Maybe I'll mix in a little bit of that pink too. Am I going a little bit overboard?
Okay, at least in person, this is uh, very highlighting now. I don't know what I was thinking when I said I thought it was subtle. It's definitely not. It seems like those lip colors are like still drying on my hand right now. I'll probably go with the lighter color, but let's see what the eye look looks like first. Um, so, let's see. So I'm just gonna go in this like little, really light um, color right there, like brown color, just for my crease. Probably matches my skin almost. So far, no problems. That seems to be blending fine, but let's see how it is with a darker color. Let me get a smaller brush. So I'll just go in that like shade one over, like a little bit of a darker brown right there. And just put that in the outer crease. Do like a, I do the same type of look every time. Can't help it. Yeah, so far I think these shadows are really easy to work with, which is perfect for someone like me. I'm definitely not an expert or very uh, like newbie to makeup in general, I would say, like especially with eyeshadows. So that is a plus. Let's see, what should I put all over my lid? Those shimmers are beautiful. I'm gonna start off with the brush and see how they apply that way because they swatch so well. I'm just gonna go into this like shade right here. It seems to be applying well with the brush. I think if we spray it, we'll get a lot more color payoff. I'll try that in just a second. I'll give a tiny bit of this Fix Plus left to spray on it. Let's see. I think it looks good either way. But I had a decent amount on it. Let's try it with the other lid. And I have absolutely no fallout on my face right now. I guess I should have tried baking for the first time before I put on my shadow, but good thing didn't really need it, you know, because some people do that and then just in case I get fallout. And then I think I might just pat a little bit of that like gold color on top in the middle or in the center of the lid. Um, maybe I'll try and add like a little shadow to the lower lash line. I'll go in with that like um, brown shade that we used. I really like the mirror in this. It's nice and big. And then I'm going to use that like first highlight shade we used in my inner corner. Alright. Um. That was easy to do, so I'm just going to jump off camera and put on some mascara quick and then let's try out the lippy. I like how the eye look turned out. Um, I'm happy with that palette so far, but I almost forgot about the brush. So the Sigma Big Kabuki brush. So in front of me I had my Cover FX palette. I brought this with me to New York and this is, just side note, like the best travel palette ever because you have like everything you need in it, including a finishing powder. So I was totally like sweating a little bit while filming. I'm not used to like all these lights on me and it's just really hot. I like thought the weather in New York was perfect. It was like in the 60s, here it's like 90. Um, so I'm just gonna put some powder on areas where I think I need it. Like maybe on my face, like. It is applying it really well. So I'll definitely have to use this brush some more, but I think that applied it really well. Um, I like the angle on it. I think you can really get under your eyes well, especially. Like, it's like the perfect shape for that. So um, I already had some under eye setting powder on, so I, next time I will try it. So when I do my makeup tomorrow, I can keep you guys updated. But 
so far like this. So now let's move on to the lippy. So both of them have dried down now. I think I'm gonna go with the lighter shade Sweet and see how that is. And if I want to, I can add in some of the darker shade on top. So just as like a regular um, doe foot applicator. I don't know if I showed you that earlier. Oh, it smells good. Mm, like, you know, like a baked good, like cake or, oh yeah, yeah, so good. I like this. I think the color is perfect. Like it's still my go-to type color. I think the other color seems pretty too. I'll have to wear that in some upcoming video. I always try and use like all of the makeup I get in recent boxes. Like um, soon after I get them, I like throw them in my shop, my stash bucket, but yeah, I like it. I thought it was maybe my teeth for a second. No, oh, we're good. Yeah, I like how my eye look turned out. My highlights a little. Bam in your face, but let's do a quick recap before we go. So, um, mostly skincare this month. I guess it's like half and half, or no, yeah, mostly skincare. <laughs> so I'll have to um, keep you updated on these. Like I said, I may end up putting this cleanser in a giveaway. I'm not sure, just because I have a lot right now. This is a Jet Super Hydrating Skincare Oil Foam Jet Cleanser. And then we have the Teamy Vitamin C Tea Infused Serum. And this like everyday natural rescue balm for like lips and dry areas. I'll probably end up using this mostly for my lips. I like like the peppermint smell for my lips. I, you know, it didn't feel bad on my hand. But yeah, this is a nice thing just to, like throw in your bag. So it's not super exciting, but it's definitely something convenient that I will use. Uh, and I love Sigma brushes, so that is super exciting to get. And it does feel like it's a perfect shape for under eye, so I'm gonna try it with my setting powder tomorrow for that. I never bake, but I think even if you don't bake, you can probably just use it as you normally would for your under eye powder. Um, so far, I really like the color of the Blossom, uh, no, I used Sweet, I didn't try Blossom, but this Girlactic. I feel like we got a Girlactic lippy recently. Was it in another box or was it in a different subscription box, like the box subscription box. It gets confusing when you use the name in the box, but um, I like this. I'll have to try the other color. I think it goes well with my eyes, like a nice neutral lip. And I like this palette more than I thought I would. Like when you look at it, I mean, I, I can see why some people might not be thrilled with it, but I think you can get some pretty like fall eye looks or any time of your looks. Like I like the look I came up with today using a couple of the shadows. And I like that there's some highlight shades and you can use highlight shades on your eyes as well. So like it counts as like both. So I think this is a good everyday palette. The mirror is great. The price point's great too, $21.50, not bad. So yeah, and there's a lot of mattes. You can create a lot of different looks. I think it looks uh, more plain than it actually is. And I really like the shimmer shades so far too, but yeah, I'm really liking how this looks. So, and it was really easy to work with, which is super important for me. Like I said, I am definitely not a makeup expert, so. Yeah, so overall, I definitely got my money's worth. It wasn't like the most exciting box in the world, but I definitely like it. Um, I love getting new makeup, especially. Like, I love skincare too. Like, I'm a huge skincare girl, but it's more exciting for me to get makeup just because I kind of have a skincare regimen in place right now. But yeah, you guys have to let me know. Did everyone get the same box this month? Um, I'm not sure I even watched any videos. I'm way behind on YouTube, but uh, yeah, let me know if you guys are, got off the wait list, if you guys got the box, what you think. Um, were you guys happy with it, not happy with it? And just let me know how you guys have been. I really have missed you. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.